Hello and very good evening. Welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued three laws for this year, 2017, after they were approved by the representatives and Shura councils. Law 7 of 2017 approved the Arab Convention for Combating Money Laundering and Terrorism Financing, which was signed in Cairo on the 21st of December 2010. Law 8 approves the Air Transport Agreement between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of the Tunisian Republic, and Law 9 approves the agreement to encourage and protect mutual investment between the Government of Bahrain and the Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Laws 7 and 8 were signed in the Bahraini capital on the 27th of January and the 22nd of December, re respectively. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakir Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty reviewed with their Royal Highnesses the main topics related to local issues, the requirements of this stage of the National March, and the programmes that support and enhance the National Economic March. His Majesty affirmed that the next stage requires intensifying efforts and continuing to work towards achieving goals and developmental projects that fulfil the aspirations of the people, expressing thanks and appreciation to their Royal Highnesses for their efforts to support and develop government work systems. His Majesty was briefed on the latest developments and security updates. The Minister of the Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Khalifa, stated that His Majesty directed to continue communicating and coordinating with international organisations and authorities involved in countering terrorism as part of the Kingdom's efforts and participation in the International Coalition to Combat Terrorism. He expressed appreciation for the international stances to counter terrorism. He emphasised that those who have been misled inside and outside the Kingdom and were involved in terrorist acts pose a threat to themselves, their families and citizens and residents, noting that the world is now aware of the danger of such terrorist acts. He urged Iran to stop being refuge for escapees and those wanted by justice. Sheikh Rashid also urged parents to advise their children not to follow suspicious invitations that could lead to terrorism. He stressed that the Minister of Interior will continue to take all measures to stop threats, that, threats to security and public order. His Majesty the King also received the Ambassador of Kuwait to Bahrain, Sheikh Hazar Mubarak Al Sabah. The Ambassador of Kuwait delivered to His Majesty the King a written letter from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Jabbar Al Ahmed Al Sabah, regarding the historic brotherly ties between Bahrain and Kuwait and their people. During the meeting, His Majesty expressed pride in the strong relations between the two countries and the development of these relations at all levels, due to the cooperation and coordination between the two countries. His Majesty commended the role of the Kuwaiti ambassador in reinforcing the Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations and his efforts in supporting the GCC march, as well as Arab and Islamic issues. He also stressed the importance of coordination between Bahrain and Kuwait to further develop these relations. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the chairman of Dar Talib Club, Mahfoud Abdurrahman Thamar, in which he congratulated him and the team's members, his technical and administrative bodies, as well as the members of the board of directors, on the occasion of winning the 36th GCC Volleyball Club Championship. His Majesty noted the advanced level of the players and their sportsmanship, which contributed to the success of the team and reflected the development of Bahraini volleyball. He highlighted that this outstanding athletic achievement is a direct result of the development programmes aimed at achieving excellence in all sports. His Majesty wished the club's chairman and members further success in future events and championships. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today with a number of officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the government's continued efforts and keenness on providing services in various areas of the Kingdom. He noted the role of the national press in supporting the government's directives towards more development through voicing the concerns of citizens. His Royal Highness the Premier reviewed with the audience a number of issues regarding the latest regional and international developments. He affirmed that the challenges facing the region enhance the importance of establishing strategic relations that aim to achieve mutual interests. He also affirmed the importance of cooperation to overcome such challenges without affecting the development and economic growth of countries in the region.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudabia Palace the chairman of Al Baraka Banking Group, Sheikh Saleh Abdullah Khamal. His Royal Highness stated that the security and stability are means to developing the economy, noting that private organizations, especially those in banking and finance, should cooperate with developmental directives. His Royal Highness affirmed that solid Bahraini Saudi ties support bilateral cooperation noting that the Kingdom welcomes financial and banking cooperation with Saudi Arabia and all countries that share Bahrain's aspirations of economic development. He stressed the necessity of improving the effectiveness of banks and Islamic organizations and their contributions to developing the economy, hailing the efforts of Sheikh Saleh in developing the Islamic banking industry. For his part, Sheikh Saleh expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to Al Baraka Banking Group, highlighting that the Kingdom has become a hub for financial and banking activities. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable to the Chairman of the Archilev Club, Mahfoud Abrahman Thamer, in which he congratulated him and the team's members, its technical and administrative bodies, and the members of the Board of Directors on the occasion of winning the 36th GCC Volleyball Club Championship. His Royal Highness asserted that the victory was well deserved, following the outstanding performance and sportsmanship of the team throughout the championship. He wished the club's chairman and members further success in future events. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Dar Chalib Club winning the 36th GCC Volleyball Club Championship. His Highness noted that the success of the team reflects the support of the leadership. He added that the team's victory reinforces the gains of Bahaini volleyball. His Highness commended the efforts of the team's management, hailing the efforts of the players throughout the championship. And the representative for His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the fourth Mini School Olympics, which will run until March 30th. The event is being organized by the Bahrain Olympic Committee in coordination with the Ministry of Education and is taking place at Issa Sports City's Bahrain Volleyball Association Gym in Rifah. The inauguration was attended by Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali Naemi. Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Deputy Secretary General and BOC Secretary General Abdurrahman Askar, Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs Assistant Undersecretary Sheikh Sakhar bin Salman Al Khalifa, Chairman of Bahrain Volleyball Association Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and officials from the Education Ministry and Bahrain Olympic Committee. The ceremony began with the arrival of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. The national anthem was then played, followed by the recitation from the Holy Quran. An art show for the students of Hiwar and Arad Elementary Schools was also held. The BOC Secretary General delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to the Ministry of Education, represented by the Department of Physical Education and Scouts, as well as government and private schools, for their positive participation. He hailed the success of the event, reflected in the increase in the number of participating schools to 42. The Minister of Education and Deputy Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports lit a torch in front of the main building of the Ministry of Education and ran to the event's location.
A number of agreements worth $489 million were signed today with the Saudi Fund for Development to provide funding for a number of vital projects. On the Bahraini side, the agreements were signed by Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and on the Saudi side by the fund's Vice President and Management Director, Yusuf bin Ibrahim Al Bassam. The first agreement covers funds for the construction of 582 housing units in Wadi Al Sail and Kalali. Four agreements were signed for the development of roads and two for funding the electricity and water sector as well as infrastructure. The finance minister stated that the signing of the agreements comes within the framework of bolstering Bahraini Saudi relations and reflects the keenness of their wise leaderships to enhance them. He also noted that the Gulf Development Program is an effective tool that embodies the economic dimension of joint Gulf work. These projects, uh, these funds which Saudi Arabia grants to Bahrain for these projects will definitely help to develop the infrastructure in Bahrain as far as electricity and water is concerned, also to meet the future demands which is rising day by day. The great contribution to our local economy, uh, uh, the, the multiplier effect uh, uh, from uh, doing housing uh, in the housing industry, it's, it's uh, quite uh, high. Uh, it's generating a lot of uh, jobs in the, in the con construction industry in the consultancy. These projects include the uh, upgrade of Al-Fatih Highway, uh, the section from Mina Salman interchange to the diplomat interchange. Uh, it consists of upgrading the, the highway to four lanes in each direction and changing the two traffic signal control junctions. Very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Sheikh Mohammed. Bahrain Al Share Index has closed at 1,377.20 points, marking an increase of 2.57 points above previous closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 71% of total shares. 61 transactions included 2,244,146 shares worth 562,219 Bahraini dinars.